Hey fuckers, Young Ura here. Now, I don't want to say I clickbaited you guys, okay? Because I am going to make the video about what causes recruits to quit the most, okay? However, I'm going to start on a new thing where I'm going to mix in my vlogs along my informational videos because I feel like they can go together well. And not only that, it makes my life a lot easier. And to be honest, I'm super duper excited to do this. And honestly, if you guys don't like it, I might still keep doing it because I enjoy it so much. So comment down in the section below if you guys like me doing it. And I might just still keep, still keep doing it because I just want to, okay? Because it's fun for me. But I still love you guys though, so don't worry. Let's start the freaking vlog. Good ass groupie right there. Great groupie. Hey fuckers, Young Ura here. It's a fresh vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed the last vlog, and I'm glad you guys, some of the, some of the guys who commented, did enjoy the last vlog. Um, but today, again, I'm gonna pick up Honeycomb or Hokum. I keep calling him Honeycomb. That's his nickname, but nobody else wants to call him Honeycomb. So call him Hokum. He's gonna get pissed off. Uh, I mean, for letting let you guys know. Uh, but today, I'm gonna go pick him up, and I'm gonna go adopt another cat. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my cat a friend. Um, because, you know, it seems kind of lonely, and he is actually a little shit. Uh, Hokum and I are gonna go pick out a cat together. Uh, that sounds kind of homo, but he's just gonna come with me, too, so so I don't get bored, alright? So I'll see you guys there when I pick him up, or in the shelter, alright? So, peace! He's right there, picking him up. What's up, man? Leave this stuff here. Sorry, I got the cat already. Huh? I thought you got the cat already. Oh, dude. Look at that shit. <laughs> Y'all see his face? Alright guys, so we're here at the animal shelter again, as you can see. My buddy Hokum. So let's go pick out a cat. Let's go. I ended up getting like an orange Garfield looking cat. Little kitten. Uh, she's about two months old. I was gonna get like this cat, black and white one. She's four months old. She's about to get, you know, die. But, you know, I didn't really like it. So I, I guess it, it's too bad, you know? He'll be so mad for not, you know, adopting it because it's gonna get killed, but it is what it is, you know. Whatever. The cats that I watched, they do want it, they want, you know, that were really nice to me, they they weren't available today, so I'll, I'm gonna get a kitten, it'll grow onto me eventually. Sorry for the wind, guys, but we got a new one in the house right here. Another one, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna introduce them to the big guy at home, you know, hopefully, we'll take care of him. But let's open the box, see how it looks like, alright? In one second, we change the good camera. Right here. Hi. Hello, you little kitty. Hey, Hoka, we found dinner. It's, um, I don't know what. Yo, what should I name him? Oh, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Don't, don't be scared. Hey, yo. Yo, just let you know, Mr. President, that's my that's my uh, first cast name. He's a guy. This one's a girl. <laughs> they're gonna be, they're be getting busy when this one grows up. <laughs> so I, 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 did, I did Mr. President a favor, but I just haven't named her yet. But she seems a really good, like a really good cat already. Lewinsky? Oh yeah, huh? Oh, that's a good one. Marka Lewinsky, huh? <laughs> Mr. President and Monica Lewinsky. Yo! <laughs> Monica! I'm gonna name her Monica. I'm, I'm gonna think about it. I'll let you guys know, alright? I'll see you guys later. Alright, you rock gangsters. I can't wait to do this. We got Monica. I decided to name her Monica, alright? It's just such a perfect match, alright? So we're gonna be Monica, and we're gonna introduce her to Mr. President. Alright? Okay, so let's do this shit. Let's go. Let's see how you re how Mr. President reacts to his new future girlfriend. Right now she's a kitten, so you know he can't really do much. Hopefully he doesn't attack her. So we got Mr. President over there. Oh whoa, where are you going? I got you some pussy. I mean y'all spaded and neutered. Y'all can freaking fuck like jackrabbits and have no consequences. Come on, Mr. President, get over here. Stop being a little bitch. Oh yes, he's happy. I Oh, look at that. Hey, it's a good color combo, too. Oh, look at that. Look at him sniffing her around. Hey, you like the way she smells, huh? She smells like ass. You better clean yourself, Monica. All right, calm down, Mr. President. She's too young for you, all right? Oh, look at that. So cute. All right, guys. That's all I wanted to show you guys. See you guys later. All right, so just dropped off Hokum. I got the little kitty in the back. Just chilling, you know. Pretty good, you know. So I'm here having fun and stuff. 
So I'm just drive back and hang out with my cat. Um, I'm just gonna meet up with uh, another another Marine. He doesn't like to be on video though, so it's so you're not gonna really see him. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go uh, get him comfortable with me and everything. Uh, Cause she's a little kitten. Marka's a little kitten, right, Marka? Oh, she's so cute. God, <laughs> this is this is like the soft part of me, all right? Like I have such a big weakness for animals, man. I'm like an animal lover. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna meet up with them, get some grub, and get this guy, girl, comfortable with me. All right, so peace out. Oh man, she freaking barfed on my freaking seat. All right, we're at gangsters. So we are here at Norms. We're gonna eat some Norms right now. He's not giving me the shot because he doesn't like being videos, but that's all right. Um, we're just tucking in my uh, my little kitten before she before we go in. So yeah, awesome some steam uh, with that marine that I was hanging out with or friend. Um, as I should call him, but right now I just have a train passing through, so I'm just kind of stuck here. But yeah, blow off some steam, shoot some pistols. We're gonna be shooting the Glock 17, the CZ 75 uh, B, hopefully. Uh, but mostly, we might be just shooting the 22 because it's cheap. So yeah, I'll bring you guys along like always. Peace out. It's me loud. That is good grouping, good freaking grouping, which means he's applying his fundamentals when he's shooting, alright? This guy's freaking dead. <sighs> alright, I hope y'all enjoyed that vlog. Um, I just got back from everything from making that, uh, you know, that vlog today. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Anyways, we're gonna get started with this video because y'all waited this long to to come to this video to to discover what causes recruits to get uh, to want to quit the most. Okay, so yeah, you got Jody, you know, demotivating them. I even had a recruit, you know, cry his eyeballs out and if, with no fucking shame in front of drone instructors, and you know, the the senior drone instructor actually had to pull him to the side and um, basically. Talk to him and everything, cause he basically probably wanted to quit. Okay, he just says fuck this, because a lot of, um, a lot of Marines and a lot of recruits go into the military uh, with a fiance or a girlfriend, or they plan on marrying after boot camp, which is a very boot thing to do. You shouldn't do it, um, but whatever floats your boat. However, they do it for a better life, and they go in agreeing with the girl that it's gonna make their life better. They're gonna have this, this, and that. And yada 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 because I personally knew a guy um, who, you know, who, who who got a divorce at the end, but went through all that process because the, he genuinely believed that it would give both of them a better life because they felt like they get a house, get BH, and all that, get all the medical benefits, uh, go on like you know Tricare and get that you know family care for your spouse and your kids, and all that good stuff. The the money that was gonna get paid to them, so he did basically quit the Marines. He couldn't adapt to it. He psychologically he couldn't adapt to it. So that happens in boot camp, okay? It even happens after boot camp when you're in the Marines, okay? It happened to me. And now this is this, this experience is what comes from my point of view because it's my personal experience, what I've gone through. I don't know how it's like for everybody else, but this is from what I've seen. Another reason why uh, things can get hard for recruits and make them want to quit is um, the mental stress that they get in boot camp. And um, I, no bullshit, uh, saw a dude on the quarter deck said, I quit. I quit. Like, he said, I quit. He screamed to the drone instructors, I quit. And he, he he made it out. He's he's in, you know, he's in the infantry now. Um, but he was on the quarter deck and he said, I quit. And he got freaking destroyed by the drone instructors even more. And basically slayed even more. Because they want to give him the time to tell that, yeah, you want to quit. But guess what? You're not. And I'm pretty sure... He, he had a talk with a senior drone instructor right after, and a lot of times when 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 recruits get stressed out, they don't want to do shit. Uh, and some of them actually do want to quit. It's because they're stressed. They're mentally stressed, and they mentally don't want to handle it. It's not that they can't handle it. They can't handle it. They don't. They mentally don't want to handle it. Um, I personally had, you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna be afraid to hide it. There's one. There's gonna be. T there was times where I did want to quit. You know, I was like, fuck this bullshit. It's so. It's so mentally tiring, mentally stressful. Because think about it, I was a squad leader for the most part, for most of the time in boot camp. And honestly, that in a way, in my opinion, because I tried hard, I put a lot of effort and time into being a good recruit. And that in a way took a toll on me 
uh, when it came to third phase and that's when I got fired okay and I didn't say I quit I just was so sick of the same guys messing up and I me getting screwed over on the quarter deck because what will happen is that when right when I wake up literally think about it right when you wake up the first I guarantee you 100% the first 10 seconds of waking up not even sometimes not even the first 10 seconds they'll just come to my rack because I was you know pretty close to the quarter deck like when the first five seconds and look at me and say you on the quarter deck I'm like dude I woke up I woke up just right now you know in my mind I was like dude what the fuck why the fuck you know holy fuck hold on sorry guys my phone went off but so I was like why the fuck am I getting IT'd on the quarter deck within the five sec first five seconds of waking up it, it, it shit got really annoying because it happened to me like almost every day especially in first phase and i got really sick of it so by the time third phase comes there's always that one i still remember his name he's all that one same guy who always fucked up in my squad all the time and that in itself can cause people to want to quit because um they're just sick of it they see they see no point in continuing on um for me i didn't quit it was i got fired like i just got demotivated i just wasn't on his ass anymore because i was like fuck this guy He's not really, he's not really trying. So why should I try? However, you know that, and it's that what's what kind of got me fired. And we did change senior drone instructors because of some political issues that was going that was going on all the time, um, and it caused this new senior drone instructor to pick new squad leaders. You know, he was more of a type of guy that he wanted to keep firing and hiring squad leaders to see who was the best, and. My old senior drone instructor liked me as a squad leader, but my new senior drone instructor didn't like me as a squad leader. He he fired all the squad leaders that was that was he, the only person he didn't fire was a guide. He fired all squad leaders and replaced them with new ones. So I when I got fired, all the rest of the squad leaders got fired too. So um, it, it kind of wasn't it wasn't that I was doing a bad job. It was because he just wanted to fire all the squad leaders. But you can also bring the shit that I was going through back into the platoon as a normal recruit because a normal recruit might think um, the same way I do in a sense that some guy keeps messing up and we get punished as a platoon and he has to do whatever the fuck the drone instructor wants to do because one recruit messed up and it happens over and over again and you know people want to quit they they literally want to quit they they don't want to do it anymore and I even had one guy who um, he started disobeying orders like he made it through boot camp um, but he obviously got destroyed, and I'm pretty sure he talked to the series commander. I don't know I what happened, but he did get talked to because he was, every time he was getting told what to do, he would just smile at the drone instructor and not want to fucking do it. And that really, you know, he, he got his shit together towards the end. So that was good. Um, that So that's what causes recruits to quit. It really is a test of testing your mental strength of going through most bullshit and, and continue on and not quitting so every time you guys feel that in boot camp just make sure try your best okay try your best to not feel that way and continue on and keep pushing through and just just take it just take it because you're gonna have to take it there's gonna be those recruits who are gonna be that one guy who's never gonna change okay just take it and keep moving on um last and final thing i want to say how bright recruits quit is because they get dropped they get dropped to you know medical or or whatever or it, you know to the next cycle or, or next platoon or whatever and that in itself really demotivates people and i've even gotten letters from boot camp saying that they're so demotivated they're, they're like they're like fuck this they don't, don't want to do it no more because you know they got to stay on the place longer and they have to wait longer to be united states marine they're almost there um i got guys who got dropped in third phase um, and I got guys who got dropped, you know, during second phase, every phase there was a guy getting dropped and everything. Um, so yeah, just stay motivated because I, okay, I personally never went through that shit. Okay. But in my opinion, I would have just kept going through because I, I don't want to come home. With, I don't want to come home with nothing. I want to come home something. Okay. So honestly, that's from my experience, guys. If you guys don't agree with me. It's okay, but that's from my experience of why recruits will want to quit, or the most common reasons why recruits do quit in boot camp, and literally say out of their mouths, "I quit." Okay, so take these into consideration when you're in boot camp, guys. All right, so yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all enjoyed this style type of video. Um, it's easier for me. I'm enjoying doing it, and it's exciting for me. So fuck y'all, basically. Uh, halfway, J.K. Halfway. Anyways, follow me on Instagram at Young Ura, and 
if you haven't checked out my other vlogs, go check them out now. Um, on Instagram, you can PM me, do you know whatever, send me whatever you want, okay? And I have a lot of personal conversations with a lot of people. You can also see more of my personal life and stuff like that, okay? So, those of you who have checked out my Instagram, and watched the video all the way through, comment down below of what I recently just got through my Instagram, okay? Just look at if you that way I know you guys actually checked out my Instagram, okay? So, to go check it out and comment what you guys saw, okay? Anyways, if you liked the video, thumbs up. Y'all didn't thumbs up. I don't give a fuck. Stay sharp. Be safe. And remember, go put these kills. Thanks for watching. Bye.